Greetings all. Today we're going to go out and have an adventure in Avalon, which is the big city on Catalina Island. And this is a great weekend getaway or even for several days. And I had the opportunity to go there and spend a few days off and on over the past couple of months. So I took some video footage and it's presenting it to you today. So here we go. Now, most people go to Avalon via the Catalina Express which is probably the easiest, most convenient way to get there. Uh, it costs about $45 each way, so about $90 round trip. They will get you though, parking there is about $25 a day, so be wary. There are other modes of transportation to get there. If you have the bucks, you could even fly there uh, via helicopter and such. But we decided to take boats and uh, well, with Captain Bill and Captain Bob, uh, started our Catalina adventure. Well, we left our home port of Long Beach and got checked out by Admiral Sadie to make sure everything was ship shape. Might wonder how long passage takes. Well, by helicopter, it's about 30 minutes or so. Catalina Express, about an hour and 15 minutes. By kind of a speedboat or so, you're probably looking about an hour and a half to two hours. Uh, by cruising powerboat, you're probably looking at about three hours. And by sailboat, you're kind of looking at, oh, I would say between four and four and a half uh, hours and such. So keep your eye out, too, on your passage because you never know what you might see. I've seen whales and dolphins, and sure enough, we got greeted by uh, dolphins one time. So keep an eye out for uh, wildlife. You never know what you might see well once you arrive at Avalon you may want to pick up a, a mooring and if you do uh, what you do is you kind of go out towards the very front entrance and there's a red harbor patrol boat and you check in with them if you don't see them uh, you could hail them on channel 9 but they generally run quite a bit during the busy time of year 24 7 and it's no problem to pick them up They'll come over and greet you, check your documentation for your boat, and assign you a mooring number. Now, it is first come, first serve, so on busy weekends, you could definitely get skunked. Yeah, you can't reserve them unless you own one of the mooring balls. So that's the first order of business, and then you have to make the treacherous journey inside the harbor, especially when it's busy, and hope that there's no crazy Ivans or yellow submarines in your way to actually pick up your mooring. And there's plenty of tutorials on picking up moorings. Basically, you grab the pin, grab the loop, and put it around your front cleat, run the sand line back, and then uh, either tie it off to your stern or grab the loop and uh, use your stern cleat to, to anchor that on. Then the next order of business is getting to shore. And if you have a dinghy, well, that's no problem. On busy weekends, if you don't have a dinghy, you might be able to get a ride. There's also a shore boat. Uh, again, you can be, get, greet them on Channel 9. Costs $5 each way per person to go ashore. Well, after disembarking the boat, we uh, headed over towards the pier, and there's a nice little visitor center there. And if you've never been to Catalina, that's a good place to kind of check in and kind of get some maps and kind of low down on the area and such. And then we headed into town, and with the approval of Admiral Sadie, uh, we were able to take shore leave and walked around towards the beach and started checking out the scene. Um, Avalon has this cool, like, little Mediterranean vibe. And you got to realize the whole place is not very big. It's a mile by a mile, so about a mile square. And, of course, the most iconic scene in all of Avalon is the casino. So we decided to walk over there and check that out. Um, it's a short walk. I mean, Avalon, for the most part, is a very walkable town, but uh, there's a lot more to it if uh, you could get, get out of the downtown area where there's a lot of shops and, and restaurants and such. So we headed over to the casino, and I, I will make kind of a little disclaimer here that there are a number of dinghy docks around the uh, area. One is by the fuel dock in the casino. Another one's kind of by the yacht and tuna club. And then there's another one kind of towards the south side uh, near what's called Pirate Park. There 
they're conveniently located around the mooring fields uh tie up tends to be fairly easy and so yeah uh, i've started to check out, out out around town and it's a quaint little town of course the people around there are happy uh they're on vacation so it was a real friendly vibe to uh walk around avalon Well, there's a lot of stuff to do on Catalina and Avalon, uh, such as snorkeling or kayaking or playing golf, seeing the botanical gardens. Uh, we decided to rent a golf cart, and that's kind of the big mode of transportation around Avalon, and tour the island, and we got to see some of the iconic scenery uh, along our tour it also gave us a, a way of seeing the lay of the land and one of the neat things was going up a road called hermit gulch and going past the country club and the school and the there's a nature center up there and there's a campground and so it kind of gave us a reconnoitering of the west end of avalon and such so that was uh really fortuitous and it was a good way to find the, the grocery store which is Vaughn's and it's in, located in the center of downtown and it was also cool to see like all the cool architecture and styles of, of houses that are on Avalon so that was really kind of neat and we really enjoyed that that little adventure so it really gave me a good feel for what Avalon was all about. Well, it's kind of funny in the sense that uh, I hadn't been to Catalina in a real long time, especially Avalon, and it was kind of neat to revisit the area and see some of the changes that have happened and uh, have the good memories I used to have in the past. Um, when it comes to dining, as an example, I've probably now only eaten about, oh, seven or eight restaurants and uh, i can't strongly recommend one because everybody's taste is a little bit different and i know what i like but uh, grabbing a bite to eat there's a lot of restaurants there's a little bit for everybody and um it really depends on your style and most of the prices range between oh i would say 20 to 40 dollars per plate for dinners and such um and some of it's really delicious and some of it is meh but uh, as the evening sign of wears on, we start to see that the nightlife starts to kick in. And one thing I can say about, about Avalon is there's, there's probably something for everybody. And uh, you just have to kind of get out there and get a feel for it. As I get more and more familiar with it, I'm definitely understanding what, what I like the best of, of Avalon and such. And I foresee as I, I revisit the area over and over again, um, it'll become more and more comfortable. So, uh, yeah, it's a great little getaway. Um, I strongly recommend it for a, a staycation. I could see uh, spending a long weekend, four days or so, uh, in the Avalon area. There's the eco tours that go up on the island, and you can explore Airport Mesa and even go over to Two Harbors and such. Uh, it's not a very big island, but there, there's a lot of adventures to actually see. And one thing I will say is if you go during the summer, it does get hot inland. Now, Avalon itself is pretty uh, mellow, but uh, as you get inland and such, it can get quite hot. So uh, if you're planning on, say, a backpack adventure or a bike ride over the top, you may want to wait for the shoulder seasons like spring or fall when the temperatures are a little bit cooler. <laughs> Well, after a foggy night, we decided to head back to the mainland, the 26 miles. And definitely I could recommend Avalon as a nice day adventure or best, I would think, would be a couple of days there. Uh, spend a couple of nights there. Definitely a romantic getaway for those of you. The dining's really good. The scenery's really nice. The vibe is great. 
So, yeah, I want to thank Captain Bob, and I want to ha- thank Captain Bill for allowing me to hand along on their trips out to Avalon. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and want to make it out there, too. So we'll see you guys all next time, and have a great day.